In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you why making money with your music through sync licensing is actually pretty easy. Let's get started. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jesse. This is Sync My Music, and this channel is 100% dedicated to the industry of TV film sync licensing. This is the undiscovered, most well-kept secret of the music industry, and it's been that way for a long time, and it's what's allowed me to create full-time income with my music for now over 14 years through these performing rights organizations that pay me passive income royalties. If that all sounds like a bunch of word salad to you, don't worry, I have a resource for you at the end of this video that can help you understand all of these terms and make sure that you decide, help you decide at least, whether or not you want to get serious about licensing your music. But in this video, the topic is why I feel sync licensing, sync licensing is actually one of the easier ways to make money with your music. Now, the big caveat I will put out there is it is easy compared to many other avenues, okay? Sync licensing itself is not easy to do. Uh, it does take a lot of hard work, persistence, patience. You know, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Uh, but compared to what pretty much everybody else is doing in the music business, it's fairly easy. And I'm gonna explain to you in this video why you might wanna consider this avenue in terms of seriously devoting a lot more of your time and energy into it, okay? So right now, wherever you're at, you are an artist, you're a songwriter, you're a vocalist, you're a rapper, beat maker, you, whatever you're doing, right now, you're trying to make some significant income with your music, but what keeps popping up in your way is this little, I'm gonna call it a mystery box, okay? The mystery box comes in many different forms, shapes, and sizes, but the one thing that all mystery boxes have in common is they are mysteries, and they're pretty much impossible to figure out, okay? Unfortunately, some mysteries we can solve, but one of your mysteries might be how do you create music that really gathers the attention of an online audience and makes your song or music video go viral so that you can start actually turning it into a real business? Big mystery box, because you think a song you have is hot and it's great, and maybe the marketplace doesn't agree with you, and so it just doesn't go viral. Another mystery is how do you even get a lot of attention online now that everybody with a laptop computer, actually more like just a phone you know, with an app, can put out original music, how do you create any kind of attention for yourself? How do you um, make enough noise that people can even give you a chance and listen to your music? Again, the mystery box appears there. There's many different approaches and techniques and you know marketing approaches and advertising and you know social media campaigns you can do. It's still a big mystery box though, because you know, trying to predict the behavior of consumers and your audience and the public is pretty much impossible, hence the mystery, right? So whatever you're doing right now, and that extends to if you're trying to sell beats, whatever it is, how do you sell more beats? How do you get people to find you? How do you get you know any income basically generated? this mystery box keeps popping up in your way and it prevents you from getting some serious traction in your music career, okay? So enter in sync licensing. This is where we get to destroy that mystery box. We get to completely obliterate it and not have to worry so much about wondering how to succeed in this industry. We actually will learn. I'm gonna give you guys three um, clear assets that you're going to get when you start in sync licensing that will essentially help you get clarity on how to get closer to making money. So you actually don't have to wonder or uh, theorize or, you know, A, B, compare a whole bunch of different approaches to it. It's actually pretty black and white. It's fairly simple to understand. It's not always easy to do, but at least the path and the resources you have are within your grasp. So you can basically have a proven track record, a proven path to get to where you wanna go with your income, with your money, with your music, right? Rather than having to go, well, I just don't know and I'm just gonna throw, throw out a whole bunch of stuff and we'll see what sticks. You don't have to do that in sync licensing, okay? When you get into sync licensing, you're gonna start working with what are known as music libraries. So they're essentially just publishers. What they do is they gather a whole bunch of music and they serve TV and film, sometimes radio and video game clients as well. One of the things you're gonna get when you start working with these libraries is you're gonna get briefs, okay? Briefs are essentially your complete cheat sheet guide, your blueprint to how to get paid, right? So they're not gonna just say, hey, can you send us some music because we've got some clients. And if you send something good, maybe it'll land at one of these clients' desks and maybe they'll use it. 
It's a lot more pinpointed, it's a lot more specific than that. They will tell you exactly what they want you to create, or at least they'll say, this is what we're looking for, can you create something like this? So they're gonna give you a track and they'll say, we want music like this, or they'll give you maybe a playlist. We want tracks like this. We need them to be two minutes long. We need them to have really big choruses. We need them to maybe start very quickly and build continuously. Maybe we need to have a nice mellow bridge section. They literally will give you all the keys to the kingdom in these briefs. So they'll tell you exactly what you need to create so that you can actually get the gig, get the sync fee, maybe get the royalties, get the placement, whatever the opportunity presents itself. They'll literally give you all of the cheat codes for how to get to that acceptance. So briefs are gonna become your best friend in this business when you get serious about it. Number two, and one of my favorite ones, is reference tracks. These will sometimes be included in those briefs. A reference track is essentially just a track or a series of tracks that they'll say, model your music after this, okay? Now you gotta be careful, of course. You do not wanna commit copyright infringement. You do not wanna rip off their chord progression, their melodies, do anything like so close that it sounds exactly like a rip off of the original. So you do need to come and bring your original flair to the project but you can definitely use the same BPM, the same drum patterns. You probably need to get your own, of course, drum sounds and samples, but you can certainly use very similar drum patterns or maybe identical drum patterns. Those are not gonna fall to any sort of a copyright issue for you. Um, similar instruments, if not identical instruments. So if there's like hip hop drums with strings on top, you better know that you have to go get some hip hop drums with some great string libraries that you can throw on top and um, you know similar sort of structure to the track. So if the track you know has a five second intro, high energy, and then cuts right into a big chorus, well, guess what you need to do with your track? You don't have to wonder, should I create a verse in the beginning? Should I have a big build up? What should I do? Use their structure of that reference track. The track has a five second intro, you create a four or five second intro, okay? So that's what I mean by these are the guides for how to make sure that you're not just wasting your time and you're not sitting there with this mystery box wondering, is this gonna work? Are they gonna like this? I don't know, because that's what you've been doing up until now. You've been wondering and hoping that somebody out there in the world will like what you're doing and maybe pay you some money for it. In this industry, they tell you exactly what you should be doing so you can get paid, okay? And the third asset, you're really gonna want to you know, be, be thankful when you get it. Sometimes it can hurt to get it, but you really wanna make sure you get it, is feedback from your clients. And a lot of times these will be your music libraries that you partner with. So a lot of times you'll send music to them and they'll say, hey, we need 12 tracks in the style of, like, like our previous example, hip hop orchestral. You send it to them. And they might come back and say, hey, okay, these three tracks, awesome, good to go. These four, you need to change a couple of things. It's not quite working for us. And then these three, uh, you, you need to do a complete rewrite on those. Now, the amateur sync licensing producer will see that and get offended and get pissed off and think, oh my gosh, like I, I sent you a masterpiece and you don't appreciate it, so I'm not working with you. The professional sees that as like literally money sitting on a table <laughs> because the library is telling you and the libraries know what's going to get placed, what's not going to get a place. At least they have the best idea because this is what they do day in and day out. They know their clients well. At least if they're a good library, they should know. They know their clients well, what they're going to want. So if they're telling you, hey, work on these a little bit more, change this up, not only should you take that and say, thank you so much and go right to work, start creating those uh, changes, those revisions and send it back to them as soon as possible, but keep that, maybe print it out and just have these as sort of like reference points for the future of like, well, I sent in some music before and these are the things that they kept on telling me they didn't like and they wanted me to change. Keep those in the back of your mind for when you're creating more music for this library and constantly building up your catalog with them. You'll actually get to the point where you're creating music that's licensable and useful for them much faster and you'll have less and less of these critiques and these points of feedback coming to you because you were the professional and took them seriously and realized they're gonna help you get closer to payday. That's really what these things are gonna be doing. So those are the three assets that are gonna make your life way easier in sync licensing than any other side of the music industry. And they're gonna actually allow you to become much more professional and much more engaged in this business than probably you've ever been with any other side of the industry. Now, with all that being said, if this is interesting to you, uh, if you wanna learn more about some of these terms that I've been using, you wanna learn more about the approach that I recommend that allowed me to do this full time, then I'm gonna encourage you to join me right now for a free starter course, which you can 
find in the description box of this video. It's a five part uh, video uh, series. You can basically watch all five videos today if you'd like to, or if not, you just put your email address in there and then I will send you each video one at a time for uh, each day for the next five days. So it's a lot of information. I don't want you to become overwhelmed, but I do try to make it as easy and as digestible as possible for anybody, even literally a first grader to stumble across this course and realize, oh, I could do that. It's not rocket science, it's not super hard, but there is a sort of mindset that you have to be willing to engage in if you wanna turn this into a serious source of income for yourself. It's not for all producers, it's not for all musicians. Um, you do have to have a certain type of temperament, a certain type of uh, personality, and definitely a certain type of work ethic, and I share with you all of those insights in that free course. So go ahead and join me right now if you'd like to. And other than that, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I put out new helpful videos like this every single week on this channel, and I would really appreciate it if you commented below and introduced yourself if you're new to the channel. I love meeting new subscribers and hearing more about you and your story. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I gave you some hope and some encouragement for how to really start turning your music into real income.